Hello, this is Sarah Meehan with Concentris. Today I'm bringing you a short and sweet video on the difference between item groups and kit package items in NetSuite. So as you've probably seen, there are two different ways that you can set up grouped items for sale. Uh, one is the item group, the other is the kit package, and they are very, very similar, but they have some unique limitations. So I thought it would be helpful to do a quick overview of the two options. So looking at an item group, I have one open here. I'm able to set all of the header level fields as well as the components that belong and those corresponding quantities. I have very similar options on the kit package item. So header level fields, my component items are configured here on the manufacturing tab. But what is unique to the kit package type is that I have a sales pricing tab. So just to jump back over, I have nothing like that here on the group. And that's because item groups, their pricing always feeds up from the components. So the sum of the selling price of the components is the default price for the group. On a kit package, I have the ability to set a distinct price. So the components might total at $200, but in this case, I want to sell it at 150. So that's the price that I've set here. So let's see how that plays out on a sales order. So I have here a sales order form. I'm going to enter my group item. And what you'll notice is no pricing actually populates for the group item at the top level. Once I hit add, it's going to explode into the components and that is what drives my pricing. So now you can see the total for the group is $150 because it's being driven by the pricing of the components. I can adjust these price, prices by using a custom price level if I'm so inclined, but that will still roll up to the group. So if I change this to $45, now my group becomes $145. Oops. Let's try a different price level here. So instead I'll do this 10% price and now that will roll up to the group level. So my group is $145. In comparison, when I add my kit, it's going to just display that $150 as entered. So typical applications for these two. Item groups are great when you want to make it easier for salespeople to enter a single part number for items that are commonly sold together, but you want to retain the integrity of the original pricing. Or if you have scenarios where you want to build in things like shipping and any other non-inventory fees that you may be adding on to the total cost of a product, but not have them display on the invoice. So the item group will display the top level part number, but not all of the components feeding into it. And on the kit side, uh, these are commonly used for discount applications. So if you want to sell a, a particular group of products at a reduced price, then you would configure that as a kit. In either case, neither the item group nor the kit actually contains inventory. The inventory impact will always occur at the component level. So you will always see reduced stock when a component is fulfilled for the group, but you will never ever see inventory living at the kit or group level. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care.